Welcome to Dropy, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Julia. And I'm Brian. That's right, everyone. Brian is here from Atomic Robo. Brian, why don't you tell everyone a bit about yourself? I'm from Atomic Robo, and that's it. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow, I nailed nice it. Sink. Short and sweet. <laughs> Just like me, I, I'm two feet tall. <laughs> and just Aww. so nice. Oh, I made of sugar. I forgot to add that. Aww. <laughs> Brian is a sentient gingerbread man. <laughs> Don't leave him out in the rain. Oh, man. He'll melt. Ooh. <laughs> He's come here today to give us Final Fantasy. Is it bosses? Oh, you wish it was bosses. No, I have plumbed <laughs> the depths of some of the weird monsters. Oh, oh weird yes. monsters. Yes. I love weird monsters. These are all specifically from Final Fantasy 3, but here's the plot twist. Okay. Not the Final Fantasy 3 of our misspent youths. Oh. This is the actual Final Fantasy 3, the old 8-bit Nintendo version that we never got here in the great states of America. Wow. But it was only released in Japan. The forbidden game. That's exactly it. Although you can you can play it now. There's lots of, there's like new versions and whatever. But, it's forbidden. Forbidden. But it's Brian. still forbidden. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> They'll know if you do it. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nathan's going to draw first. Do you want to go ahead and, and give him a monster to draw? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, this monster from Final Fantasy III. It is called Cum Cum. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. it's not. It, it literally <laughs> is. How is this monster spelled, please? K-U-M space K-U-M. Okay. All right. <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it is actually in Final Fantasy XIV. They do have a version in there. Oh, I think it's only in a boss fight, though. It's like you know one of the ads that pops in. Hmm. What uh, what kind of things does it does it do? What does it yeah. come come do? Okay, <laughs> this guy. He, so yeah. I, I think sort of like if a ghost was a wizard. Ooh, okay. okay. Yeah, now we're getting to some places. I mean, it's right there in the name. I don't sure, know why I had to of tell course. you. Of <laughs> course, <laughs> it's the first thing I think of when I hear <laughs> I "come come." I was like, let's ghost. start him with an easy one. Yeah, is it the ghost of a wizard or like the spirit of a dead person that was haunting the earth and decided, "Hey, I'm going to be here for all of eternity. Why don't I study some magic?" I'd never thought of that. It could go either way. Yeah, maybe it depends. Maybe it's different. You know, because there's lots of different come comes floating around. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course. Maybe some of them were wizards and some of them became wizards. There's sort of the obvious connection to be made in sort of like ghostly shapes and, and other shapes that what do you are mean? brought to mind. I have no idea. But like wizard? Does wizard it mean like shapes? the hat? Yeah, like the hat. Like the shape of a of a stick of gum? Like gum gum? Oh, you like oh, gum, yeah, gum. Yeah. Like yeah. gum gum? Like a gum. He's sort of like a gummy wizard. Gummy ghost. Yeah, gummy yeah. ghost wizard. Okay, I like that. Yeah, sort of like what what happens to gum after you chew it and stretch it out. It's like if Gumby played D and D. That's our next episode. Gum <laughs> what if Gumby did D and D? I draw. I for my speed draw, I drew Pokey as a bard. <laughs> Might look a little something like this. <laughs> <laughs> like a. Stained glass. This is my foyer into some stained glass work. You guys have to watch a film of me making Pokey as a bard in stained glass. I kind of <laughs> love that. It's our highest effort piece of content. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no one asked for it, and no one is sure why we did it. And no one has viewed it. Yeah, and it Aww. has the least views by far on Aww. our channel. It sounds wonderful, though. Yeah, it's it's sort of a, a cult classic. Yeah cult favorite. So I'm I'm going the the standard cuz what little I know about Final Fantasy is you got your your sort of mage. Right. If you, if you do magic, you got that hat and you got that face. But but on a ghost. What right. if on a ghost? I can't picture this guy attacking me. <laughs> yeah, you just look very nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's he's going to cast some spells at you. He looks like he has a side quest for me. He does. Yeah, this is a friend, Nathan. Yeah. You made a friend. His side quest is for you to get lit on fire by his Firaga spell. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice pull. pull. Thank really? you. <laughs> uh, Brian, I feel like we should say that th there's a reason that you're giving us Final Fantasy bosses. Oh, that's right. 
and it's because you did <laughs> you did eight bit theater. I did do eight bit theater. I was the I was the weirdo who made that comic all those years ago. Yeah, which I I have memories of of reading way back in the day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I hope that's good. Back before I was making any any content. And now look I didn't at you. Know what content was? So really, you could say that you owe your entire career to me. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, that's, I think that sounds fair. It back. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, um, I'll give you the address for where you can send all the checks. Yeah, I'll send you one hundred percent of my income. <laughs> I mean, let, let's be let's be fair. Ninety percent will be fine. You're so generous. Thank that's you. That's very generous of <laughs> you. Brian. I know. Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was like back in the the early internet content days. I feel. Yeah, that was two thousand one through two thousand nine. Yeah, the landscape was super different. Gosh, everything. It, this was pre social media. A beautiful time. I don't even remember anything else. People visited websites besides just like the two or three that people visit nowadays. It's bizarre. It was no way to live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just had to know what site to go to to find the content that you wanted. Tons of bookmarks. Yeah, oh, gosh. bookmarks. In your folders. Yeah, hundreds. Yeah. Then you had to like categorize them. So you had like the web comics drop down. Yeah. Yeah, I had that. Were you crazy enough to have them separated by like in different folders for which day or? No. Oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Who would do that? Yeah. What kind of sick freak? <laughs> but yeah, I remember seeing like, I mean, 8-Bit Theater was likely the first Sprite Rip comic I saw. Was it like one of the earliest ones? Uh, yeah, I think there, there was before that there was Bob and George, which was all oh, Mega Man yeah. stuff. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel like I'm having like a one of those brain <laughs> moments where like it's it's a memory. Yeah. <laughs> You're describing the sensation of memory. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was like the coolest thing. And I remember trying to do it and realizing that it was uh difficult. More difficult than I thought it would be. Ain't that just the way of things? It was hard. I mean, it looks it looks like oh, you just slap in a couple of sprites, and yes, you do do that. But to do it and make it look good, it you know it takes a lot of refinement. Yeah, for sure. So what I'm saying is that I could just draw this stuff easy, no problem. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just I just choose not to. Yeah, you're not drawing on this episode because you're tired from all the drawing. Uh, uh, yeah, that's you it. already did today. Yeah. Well, why draw on an episode when you can have someone else draw it and then take 90% of it? Yeah, so it's much <laughs> yeah. better. I'm a tech that's, guru here. You've, that's you've cracked business. it. Yeah, that's business. That's that's making it. I like this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy's cute. Yeah, this is just nice. Like, I wouldn't even mind if this guy killed me. He's gonna. <laughs> He's certainly gonna try. He's gonna try his best. Yeah. <laughs> He's just out here trying his best. <laughs> I mean, someone someday is going to kill me, and I'd be happy if it was this guy. Right. This is a fun little drawing. I, I'm, you know, unless there's any other, like, important things you, you'd like me to include, I, I think. I think you got him. Yeah. You forgot his intricate scales. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought that was implied. <laughs> he and has a lot of tribal outfit. tattoos. You forgot the <laughs> oh, tribal yeah, forgot tattoos. The tattoos. How dare you? <laughs> Can I see what he actually looks like, please? Prepare yourself. You're you're not that far off. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, he's just a little you're guy. Not that far he's off. A, he's a little okay. cutie. He's cute. Yeah. He's got sleeves and uh and more of a more of a cloak going on. Yeah, a more sinister look. Yeah. Mine you can't even tell that he's made of gum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I gave my guy little hands too. Yeah, no, that was good. Yeah, Nathan, I'm impressed. Thank you. I was like, he'll never get it to look right. And like, I mean, it basically does. Yeah, it's it's a it's sort of a, a hood cloak instead of a instead of a hat, but maybe, you know, this is just his uh his summer outfit that I drew. It's beach time. Yeah. This is this is what he wears to the beach. <laughs> it does make yours look nude now by comparison. Yeah. <laughs> this mine's a bit of an exhibitionist. <laughs> Well, Nathan, you did a great job. Thank you. And now I want to do a great job. You're gonna, I bet. And yeah. I would love it, Brian, if you would give me a thing to draw so that I can do a great job. All right. All right. I'm going to suggest to you, uh, again, another monster from Final Fantasy III. 
Helguru Mage. Ooh. Helguru? Helguru. Helguru. And it looks, looks nothing like what... I don't even know what you could be imagining. It looks nothing like it. I'm imagining a demon version of Gru from Despicable Me. <laughs> you know, I like it. I'm imagining <laughs> Helga from Hey Arnold. Wow. As a, That's as a kangaroo. Godzilla. <laughs> Helga as a kangaroo. Okay. Actually, that that is kind of close. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Helga, Helga as a kangaroo is close. Helga Pataki kangaroo. Sort of. It's close in the sense that I think you hit upon kangaroo being the, the source of what this creature is supposed to be. Okay, but oh. how much Helga Pataki's in there? I was not thinking about a kangaroo at all, so me you neither. did help me. And now I will get some Helga Pataki in there as a thank you to you. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> this looks like Wario eyebrows and nose right now, and I'm into it. I was going to say, you know, a Helga mage is obviously sort of a dinosaur looking guy, because that's what this is. But I think it's supposed to be more of a kangaroo looking thing. Oh. I've done it. Kangaroo dinosaur. Dino I... kangaroo. We can get both. That's fun. Oh, beautiful. I've never been right on this show, so I'm really You did I'm it. really just soaking it in. Yeah. But we can get sort of the, the mono brow look. Oh yeah. That's good. On the Helgaroo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, it's this cute. Is, this is stupid. This is no, adorable. it's cute. This is great. <laughs> yeah, it's got attitude. <laughs> Helguru with attitude. These could be like the ears, we'll say. Oh, sure. Oh. Yeah. To make it make sense. It needs to make sense. Well, well with a name like Helguru, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so Work it's kind of like it? a dinosaur, but it's also a mage, you say. It's a mage, you tell me. It claims to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mage. Whether, whether it got its degree or not, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen a degree. School. Can you cast any spells? That's actually really rude to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to prove myself to you. Yeah, maybe it's it's got like a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> That's like yeah, I'm cast I'm casting Fira right now. It's pronounced Fira. Shut up. This is just starting to look like a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is arsonist Helguru. No, I'm a mage. I'm casting a spell right now. If you'd give me like a minute. It's it's building up. I need to re refill my uh my MP. My mana. Oh maybe it's like lighting like it's some dynamite. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh, god. <laughs> oh dang. Where is it getting this dynamite from? I'm about to cast uh, an explosion spell. <laughs> if you give me a minute, I'll do it. An explosion spell. You know, I've never heard of that one before. What is it called? Uh ex exploda. Exploda. <laughs> Kaboom. Explaga. Kaboomga. <laughs> Explaga. <laughs> Explaga. <laughs> this is how dynamite works. I used to have a, a tumbler, but now I'm an explaga. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. That was good. Nathan, you're not even a dad. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming Yet. out here with this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm ready, though. Yeah, you're ready. You're prepared. I picture you getting into a random encounter battle and expecting some sort of like actual mage, and instead you get this Helga Pataki kangaroo dynamite <laughs> creature. You have to talk it down. You can't win the fight. <laughs> yeah, this is more of like a hostage situation. Like you can get it to zero HP, but the it's already lit the dynamite, so <laughs> your party is going to take serious damage. There is no battle theme for this fight. <laughs> it's just very quiet, it's deadly silent. <laughs> just all like... you hear is the pss of the fuse. <laughs> like, oh come on, uh, you don't. <laughs> hey, please I mean, listen. You lose a finger like this, man. <laughs> listen, if you do this, we're both going out. <laughs> It's my calling, man. I went to school for this. I'm a mage. I'm a, I'm a mage. mage. This is what mages do. It's not. <laughs> it's, this isn't. This isn't it. <laughs> oh, I like his little tail. <laughs> Cute. And then I want it to have like a little, it's like right. kind of wearing like a robe. This does kind <laughs> of remind me of like that, that sort of fear we're describing it it does remind me of like the first time i encountered a tonberry in oh, a yeah. final fantasy game and it just like one shot it's this inevitable force and it just keeps approaching yeah, yeah. it's so sinister it goes nice and slow but when it gets there you know some bad stuff's gonna happen yeah that's this the the addition of little hops 
Ah. Those are some ominous hops. <laughs> this is just kind of like a weird turtleneck. <laughs> it is. <laughs> well, this is the winter look. So no, now yeah. we're doing like a fashion catalog. Yeah, we've got all, you know, I've got my summer. <laughs> Your summer cum cum. Summer cum cum and winter. Uh... Hell group. Hell group. I just pictured that song from Greece. Summer cum cum. <laughs> I mean, that's basically what that song was about. Yeah, basically. Get a little hood. Yeah, this is just a hoodie. <laughs> a little sleeveless hoodie. Oh, no, I want to put sleeves. Put some sleeves on there. Little okay. rolled up sleeves. Yeah, this is a this is a delinquent. It really is. It's like a hellion. Like I think he went to maid school but dropped out. Yeah, and he just hangs around the parking lot. Yeah. It's like what what grade are you in? Shut up. Shut up, kid. <laughs> what grade do you have to be in to blow things up? <laughs> I'm in that one. Then we get like a little dino this belly. This is lovely. Yeah, this is a cool design though. Yeah. This is Hell Guru. I'm done. Yeah. You know, again, you you basically nailed it. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the real one. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. So you gave you gave yours more clothes. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna find the right clothes balance in one of these. <laughs> Julia's gonna have to do it. Well, but I got kind of, of the body on. shape and the yeah. The, it's got like the back dinosaur things. It's more like a kangaroo from hell, <laughs> I guess. In reality, yeah, and less of a a, a hellish kangaroo who looks like Helga Pataki. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, Julia. Yeah. Are you ready to get in here? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so this one sounds the least stupid, but is, if if you can believe it, stranger than the other two. Oh. Okay. All right, so this one is just called Thanatos. L- like? Like death? Like, like death. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. All, All right. we know is the hot one from Hades. Uh, I just know the hot one from Hades. I'm just drawing the hot guy from Hades, one of the many hot guys from Hades. Well, this is a little different than that. Okay. <laughs> this is a headless horsewoman. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Headless horsewoman. Okay. I should probably tell you the horse is also headless. Oh, yeah, <laughs> double headless. <laughs> no heads anywhere on this thing. Oh. Just she be, she's carrying her head. I don't know if, I should, if that's too much of a spoiler. She carrying the I, horse's oh. head too? You know, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> the horse is carrying the horse's head. <laughs> <laughs> Old saddle. Just a torso riding a torso. Now I have the the moral dilemma that I sometimes have on a Drawfee episode where do I draw the funny thing or yes. do I draw the cool thing? I, Both. I think split the difference. Yeah. Split the difference. Yeah, do half of one, half of the other. Yeah, do, do, do a kind of cool, kind of funny. Make it like a cartoon, stupid looking pony but with a badass rider. Oh, I can oh, draw that's a Jacob fun. horse. That's fun, yeah. The Jacob horses. Mm, okay. I've truly okay. tainted this show with my horse. <laughs> you have. My special horse. I just watched the Magic Card episode that, that y'all did that I wasn't in, and I was so honored to see my special horse present in it. We had to. It's just, for anyone unfamiliar, Jacob draws a, a very good horse. It's kind of just like a noodle. Yeah. It's kind of just like a noodle. It looks. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's got ears and it's got a little smile wherever you want to put it. This is Rocco's <laughs> modern horse. <laughs> it's Rocco's <laughs> modern horse. That's the horse's head. You won't see it in this drawing. Right. But unless it's it being is. held. Yeah, unless someone. it's being held. It's an option. Up to up to Julia to decide. Headless horse woman. I really love how much detail and personality the the like original sprite designs have to them, just based off of these two. Yeah, it's it's interesting because you know this was early enough in the Final Fantasy I don't know franchise where they were just throwing stuff at the wall. You know, like you, you play a Final Fantasy fourteen or uh, thirteen or twelve or whatever, and you start seeing a lot of these same monsters that you've seen for ten fifteen years at this point. But uh, like in in this one, uh, Final Fantasy three, there's a lot of just bizarre creatures as as we've seen today. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I think they should do a Final Fantasy again in, you know, 2021 where they just like make up all the monsters whole cloth. Like no yeah, returning get back to creatures. That. Yeah. Just go absolutely wild. I've pictured her as like a knight. 
She is kind of dressed like a knight. Yeah, okay. cool. My original idea, headless horse woman. Mm-hmm. A horse lady. A horse lady. So like a centaur? Centaur. I mean, we, we don't know what the second form of this boss is. Because uh, it it hits both criteria. Yeah. Of the, yeah. The horse being headless boss and the lady being headless. That's true. If anything, you are improving the design by making it more efficient. Yeah, it's a very yeah. efficient horse person. Because I don't understand why the the horse is also headless. It doesn't right? seem- Solidarity. Yeah, it could I, be oh, solidarity. Yeah, yeah. In case, in case they get <laughs> separated from one another. It's like, oh, you probably go with the headless horse- that's been running I, around. I feel like the woman in my fields. The woman showed up to work, and the horse showed up with a head. And the woman was like, "Now, you know, we talked about this. We <laughs> said we were both gonna <laughs> take off the head." And the horse is like, "Yeah, but I don't. Do you really think it's necessary for both of us? Shouldn't someone be able to see? It's what well, someone needs a head, and I'm the primary like mobility of this group. It's like, no, we both take off our heads." <laughs> And the horse had to go along with it, got bullied into it. Yeah. Poor horse. So not solidarity. Well, it is. It's a sort of a- That forced kind. Coerced. Yeah. Yeah. Coerced solidarity. <laughs> a coerced horse. <laughs> a horse. 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 <laughs> Does her uh, like pole arm there also not have a head? <laughs> I think- it's broken. It's yeah. just a stick. It's a long <laughs> stick. No heads anywhere. No. <laughs> You ever get, you know, one of them tubies from like a wrapping paper and just like play lightsaber with it? Not anymore, as far as you know. Yeah. Damn it. This is (laughs) call out. (laughs) Julia never wants to play lightsaber with me. Dang. Because I know that I'll I'll get too competitive with it. You'll (laughs) injure Jacob. (laughs) Jacob isn't prepared (laughs) for you at your full power. Yeah. To do some good 2B hits. If you can't handle me at my uh-huh. too serious with <laughs> cardboard tube, mm-hmm. you don't deserve me <laughs> at my... <laughs> yeah. Car- uh-huh. Uh-huh. But- yeah. You don't deserve me. <laughs> you just don't deserve <laughs> me. <laughs> the end. What is this chick? What is- How do horses work? I love this. This is perfect. Is that, is that that looks like leg? a horse? Remember, their their legs are they're on their tippy toes. Well, it, it's it's headless and footless. Oh sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> the horse had a dream of being <laughs> a ballerina. Can't tell me what to wear. You don't. You can't even see what I'm wearing, so <laughs> may as well. Yeah, it feels like you're dainty tapping, though. When we go around, it feels like you're doing dainty tiptoes. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Not, you don't know me. Dainty tiptoeing into battle. Do you want to get down here and, and do the, the running? <laughs> and I'll, I'll sit on your back and I'll judge the daintiness of your If toes? you know how to run into battle better than me, why don't you just do it then? If you can't run into battle at my worst. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have a follow up. You don't deserve me. <laughs> you don't deserve me. He's gonna have a main. Of course, all of these, all of these scenarios are are before they, I guess, fuse because they they fuse. These are two friends, or I guess coworkers. They don't seem like great <laughs> friends. But yeah, uh, this is a, a trust exercise. Yeah. Oh, okay. Company sponsored trust exercise. Yeah. Is this it? Is this, am I close to what it is? Is it, I mean, yes. be holding a head somewhere or no? Oh. They left it behind. You don't have to. Just sort of tucked in there. Yeah, we'll nudge it in. (laughs) (laughs) They hate it. (laughs) They're having a terrible time. (laughs) Just saying, you don't deserve me. All right, you ready? (laughs) No, Julia needs to keep Hmm. adding details. I yeah, hold on. Okay, wait. I want. Do I want to include the horse head somewhere? You could put. Well, hmm. I was gonna say you could put the horse head on the lady's neck. That's true. (laughs) 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 I'm gonna give him a bag. Okay. With the horse head in it. Yeah. 
do not open horse head. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> so the horse still can see. I feel like the horse <laughs> is going to be like, I feel like the whole headless thing was unnecessary if you were just going to put the head <laughs> That's true. in the All bag right. and All right. still see it. Why even take the head off? Well, it's like Lego parts. To be part of the theme. It's just, it's theming. Yeah. Jacob, it's a little thing called theming. Yeah, team player. Yeah, but the horse didn't understand. This is it. I'm done. I'm done here. You've done excellent work. Amazing. Let's see the real one. Let's see the real one. Oh, real. dang. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> She's having a great time, actually. She is. I That's would charge like, into battle after that. She's loving this. Julia yeah. drew like her her angry coworker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like watching her friends do all the cool jumping and pointing. <laughs> like she's always showing off. You don't need to showboat. <laughs> so the woman and the horse are not one entity. No, I see. I, again, I love how much movement. Yeah. These poses and designs really have. They get a lot. In there with these these pixely yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on. That's really cool. Well, I'm just glad I got to look at these. Yeah, I had a nice time learning about these crazy monsters. These very normal looking monsters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brian, thank you for joining us on the show. Is there anything you want to shout out here at the end of the app? Uh, yeah. So so we're gonna be making a uh, a big old 20th anniversary 8 bit theater project. Oh, yeah. that's exciting. We can't print the comics uh, because of a little thing called I don't want to get sued. Oh. <laughs> I've heard of that. Yeah, you, you don't just trust me. You don't want that. But what we can do is we can type up all the scripts for the very first time, shove them into one enormous oversized book and include a lot of commentary and behind the scenes stuff and extra jokes in the panel descriptions. And and you can you can own it and love it as if it were your own child. It'll be the size of a child. <laughs> and yeah, so we got that coming soon. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. You can take off your head and replace it with this book. Ideally, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're pricing that out. That's I'm not promising. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for joining us again. And thank you everyone who watched the episode for watching the episode. And if you liked it, why don't you click the like? Why don't you click the subscribe? Why don't you go to our Patreon? And click the subscribe there too. Yeah. But for money this time. Get with it. Get with it. Get with it. If you can't handle us at our <laughs> plugging our Patreon, <laughs> you don't deserve us. You don't deserve us. <laughs> you don't deserve us. <laughs> and as always, we're sorry. 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 Yeah. <laughs>